mind. This is Bintu's Braids. I'm so excited about this book because it's about hair. And when I grew up, hair was such a big thing with all the girls in school. I never got to wear my hair cool. So that's why I like this book. It reminds me of me. Bintu's Braids by Sivyam Adyov, illustrated by Shane W. Evans. My name is Bintu. I want braids. My hair is short and fuzzy. My hair is plain and silly. All I have is four little tufts on my head. Sometimes, sometimes I dream that little birds make their nest in my hair. It would be such a nice place for our baby birds to rest. There they would sleep and they would sing. But most of the time, I dream of braids, long braids with gold coins and seashells. My sister, Fatu, has braids. Oh, and she looks pretty. When she bends over me, the beads in her braids touch my cheek. And she asks, Bintu, why are you crying? I say, I want to be pretty like you. And she says, little girls can't have braids. Tomorrow, I'll cornrow your hair. Oh, that's all I ever get. Cornrows, cornrows, cornrows. This morning, Grandma Sukai is coming to our village for the baptism of my baby brother, who's eight days old. Mommy sent me to meet her. Here she is now in her blue gown. Grandma Sukai knows everything. That's what my mother says. She says, all people know so much because they've lived such a long time and have learned more than anybody else. And since Grandma knows everything, I ask her, why little girls can't have braids? Well, a long time ago, there was a little girl in Kumba who thought about only how pretty she was. She says, while stroking my hair, everyone envied her and Kumba became vain and selfish. It was then that mothers decided that little girls would not be allowed to have braids so that they would only make friends, they'd only play, and they'd only learn. And from then on, Kumba got cornrows. Grandma pulls gently on my ear and says, now little Bintu, when you're older, it's fine to want to look your best and show everybody that you have become a young woman, but you're still just a little girly girl. You'll get great when it is time. When I sleep that night, I dream. I dream that I'm old. I dream that I'm 16 and I have braids with gold coins and seashells. And when I turn my head, the sun follows me. I shine like a queen. And when I wake up, I look in the mirror, but I'm still been to. There's four little tufts on my head. Today, our yard is full of people in their best clothes. Earlier, Aunt Safi shaved my baby brother's head, and now she holds him up for all to see. Daddy whispers the name he and Mommy have chosen to Serene Monsieur, the elder who leads the prayer. Serene Monsieur murmurs a short prayer in the baby's ear, and, when, and then he says aloud, his name is... Abdul. Oops. 
see. Let's get the right page. His name is Abdul. Now we can eat and have fun. Huge platters of lamb and rice appear. I look for the fish balls and hot sauce that burn my tongue. And I eat sugary fritters and papayas. And I watch the women from behind the mango tree. My sister Fatru is there. Just put perfumed oil on her scalp between her braids to make it shine. And also she says so that the skin pulls so tight hurts less. Mommy's friends have braids too with gold coins on their forehead. They say it is to show us children how the great grandmothers we never knew wore their hair. You know, it took three whole days to finish Aunt Ida's braids. There's so many that even my older sister Maddie could not count them all. Mariam, who studies in the city, and her friend have braids that reach down to their waist. Her friend is not from here. I can tell because she talks with an accent. When I gave her papaya, she said, I'm Terry, and I come from America. And I asked if the little girls there have braids. Oh, many do. And they put colorful barrettes on each braid. Oh, they must look pretty, the little girls in her country. And the women laugh and laugh and shake their heads, and the beats on their braids sound like rain. All I have, all I have is four little tufts of hair on my head, and I'm sad. I'm so sad that I walk to the beach like I always do when I want to be alone. It's so quiet. I only hear the waves, the wind and the palm trees and the birds. And then, help, help, screams. When I look up, I see two boys waving and shouting, help, help, their canoe is sinking. I have to get the fishermen. I have to get the fishermen quick. Quick, the path to the village is wide and easy, but it will be faster if I take the shortcut through the bush. Nobody uses it because there are long thorns and sharp stones. I run and run and jump and jump as fast as I can. Booba and Yaya are drowning, Booba and Yaya are drowning, I cry when I reach the clearing. The fishermen rush past me and push a canoe to the water. Their paddles move faster and faster and faster and faster. And they throw a rope to the boys and pull them in. Back in the village, everyone gathers around me. Aunt Alimatu, Booba and Yaya's mother, brings me biscuits. And mommy says, you are a smart little girl. If you had taken the good path, you would have arrived too late. You've saved these boys' lives and we shall reward you. Tell us what you would like. And before I can even speak, Fatu says, oh, she wants braids. Mommy runs her fingers through my hair where only two tufts remain. The thread around the others broke when I ran through the brush through the bush, then braids you shall have, said mama. Tonight, oh, I dream I have braids. And the sun follows me. I dream I see a little girl sitting in a tree, yellow and blue birds nestle in her hair. Her hair is so pretty that everybody has gathered under the tree and smiles up at her. The sun stops following me and shines on the feathers of the birds and the pretty hair where they nest. In the morning, Grandma Suka calls me to her room. She tells me to sit on the floor between her legs. She rubs perfumed oil in my hair. Oh, you're a special little girl, she whispers. Your hair will be special too. 
I tell her that Aunt I A was coming to braid my hair. And she says, hush, hush now. And I feel her fingers fast and light. <laughs> I think she's doing cornrows. I feel tears in my eyes. I shut them tight. <laughs> when it's over, I don't want to look in the mirror. She holds and Grandma says, open your eyes, little Bintu. And that's when I see yellow and blue birds in my hair. Gone is the plain girl with the four tufts on her head. In the mirror is a girl with pretty hair looking back at me. I am Bintu. My hair is black and shiny. My hair soft and pretty. I am the girl with birds in her hair. The sun follows me and I am happy. Hello, welcome to the Cornerstone. Not to be confused with the Corner Store, because if you look for me at the Corner Store, you will find me. This is the Cornerstone. Everything here I made. I am a goodwill ambassador traveling all over the world. And this is my pandemic reset. This is how I help people now that I'm not allowed to travel because of the COVID. Here's some of our artwork. And here's me on the mission field working with children in Haiti. So now everything I've made are gifts that keep on giving. We've been able to buy a wheelchair. We've been able to buy clothes. We've been able to buy um, food for Christmas for our family. So I was so excited to be able to read this book about a little girl that looks like me and looks like some of the children I get to help around the world.